Everybody wants to manifest their dream soulmate. Everybody. Because we want that partnership where we feel like we can trust that person, that person loves us, we can fully love that person, and we just have a partner in crime, right? It's something that is so deeply embedded within us. Ever since we're little kids, we always see that there is the divine feminine and the divine masculine, and they need to be connected together in order to achieve oneness. So you want that for yourself. You want that soulmate, you want that twin flame. And I get that. But as always, I'm gonna sprinkle a little truth over it. So I hope that you're ready. But this manifestation method is so, so, so strong. And you have been doing it unconsciously all the time. So what is that? Let me tell you. Hello, my beautiful fellow human beings. My name is Christina, and as always, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time and you're interested how to connect with your inner guidance system so you can navigate life in a way that you want, and also how to manifest the life of your dreams, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel and you hit the notification bell. So make sure that you actually stick till the end of the video because we're going to be practicing how to manifest your dream soulmate or your twin flame lover. And I am always going to sprinkle a little truth and I'm going to do the same in this video. So I'm not going to tell you the stuff that other people keep telling you. I'm not going to tell you that you need to connect to a certain sound and stuff like that. I am going to tell you something that your soul already knows. You have been doing it, just that you've been doing it subconsciously. Let me demonstrate. So just think about all the relationships that you had in your life, right? Now, if you think about your past relationships and if we get to the point that you actually realize that you have been manifesting the same type of a person, just a different face, that means that you have been manifesting a certain lesson in your life that you probably did not learn from and you did not integrate. So that lesson needed to come back again in a form of another messenger. Relationships are the hardest, but also the most beautiful and most essential part about life. When we fall in love, we actually decide to dissolve a part of our own ego and actually merge it with the other person so we can build this beautiful project called relationship. So I'm going to tell you one thing. The life that you live today is a reflection of who you are today. And if you don't believe me, just stop this video and go check my other video, which is called Why Your Manifestation Didn't Work Yet. Because in that video, I'm actually explaining in depth how you manifest consciously or subconsciously every minute of your life and it is unfolding based on who you are nothing else not your thoughts but your emotions about who you are today okay so with that being said when i say this automatically you have to understand one thing when it comes to relationships you will always manifest a person that you need in your life based on who you are today Whew. okay let's get ready for this so recently I saw a quote which I really liked and I have to be honest with myself, I've been faulty of this as well. The quote said something on the lines of everybody's searching for the right person but no one is willing to be the right person. And I know it sounds negative but this is, this is the truth. I thought about my previous relationships and I thought oh, I wasn't as great as I thought that I was actually. And there were certain lessons that I had to learn in order to pass that lesson and manifest someone who doesn't have to bring that lesson for me anymore if that makes sense if that makes sense please give this video a thumbs up and also write down in the comments down below yes exclamation mark and and i will know that you get to this point and you agree with me you understand what i'm saying so now i want you to take pen and paper and i want you to do a simple process i want you to write your name in the middle of the paper and just mark it like this and then from that, actually, I want you to just split it as if you're doing a mind map, right? If you have ever done mind maps, you probably know what I'm talking about. And I want you to write in the bubble everything that you feel about yourself today. And you have to be really, really honest. Sorry for my chair that keeps making sounds. So let's say I'm just going to write kind. And I'm also going to write um, prideful. Prideful. I'm gonna write I'm gonna write lack of boundaries. I'm a lefty, so I'm sorry for. <laughs> you can write everything. Lack of boundaries, lack of self-esteem, not being able to say no, um, cheating, be honest. Like whatever you have done in your life or what you're clinging to, when it comes to your attributes, you have to be extremely honest with yourself. Nobody's gonna see your paper. Only you will see your paper, but I want you to really take the time to write this mind map of who am I today. And also when you write that mind map, I want you to actually write 
what kind of lover or what kind of a person you are for the other person today. Okay, this is also extremely important. So who am I today as an individual and who am I today as a partner? Write it and start splitting the mind map as it goes. Just be brutally honest with yourself because no one else is going to do it better than you. And you can and you should do this. So when you finish this and you already see the spider, the mind map of who you are today and also what kind of partner you would be today for someone else. And now we're talking about who you really, really would be, right? Not like this person would trigger this. No, just innately. Who would you be if you met your, your significant other today? This is extremely important because the thing is, oftentimes people want someone in a relationship. Like number one reason why we're trying to be with someone also is because we want love. But I always say, are you willing to love fully so that you can receive love fully? Because ultimately, it's only about your self-love mechanism. I want you to take two colors, okay? And I want you to mark the good stuff about yourself that you like, like being kind or being giving or, you know, having a good relationship with your parents and stuff like that. I want you to mark that with one color. Okay? And then I want you to take another color and mark all the stuff that you feel is limiting you in a way or that you have been previously in a relationship and that person used that against you or there was some sort of a lesson that you felt you needed to actually integrate so like being prideful or lack of boundaries or being flirty whatever it is uh whatever you feel it is for you now and then after you do this i want you to actually look at that map you will most likely already see where i'm going with this on the mind map you will see what kind of a person you would actually attract today this is the reality when you actually mark your your mind map or the map about yourself and you actually really really build it in a way that you know exactly who you are today and what you have to offer i want you to do one thing the the first color that you actually colored all the good stuff about yourself i want you to put your hand on your heart and just honor yourself for those good qualities this is what you love yourself for this is what you love about yourself and that's great and now for the second color i want you to actually look at what you marked in there and i want you to ask yourself how am i willing to change this about myself so i can attract the soulmate of my life today so that if i actually manage to attract that person if i actually manage to manifest that person we will live our happily ever after because like i said before if you have issues with boundaries most likely you're going to attract someone who has some issues like narcissistic personality disorder for example that's going to be constantly pushing your boundaries you need to learn those things about yourself first at least self-reflect on them in order to achieve manifesting the right person for you are you willing to love that person fully so they can love you back are you willing to actually let go of certain things that you do today so that you can achieve something else in return those things are very important a healthy self-love mindset is the number one key for attracting the right soulmate for you. So make sure that you go watch my self-love mindset video because there I really talk about practical seven steps of how to build a healthy self-love mindset because you will only attract someone who's going to love you for the qualities that you love yourself about and who's going to trigger lessons about things that you don't love about yourself. You get my point? So this way, you can actually go one step prior to that and see, okay, this is probably who I would attract today. But ultimately, you want to offer your soulmate the best version of yourself. So make sure that you're being honest with yourself. Make sure that you actually see yourself on a paper and then you are being able to become aware and mindful and actually learn and self-reflect and integrate those things about yourself so that that soulmate that is waiting around the corner for you to love you fully can really really meet you today i hope this makes sense if it does please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and please do let me know how this resonated with you and if you agree with me that you have been so far getting people based on who you are and what kind of lessons you need to learn in your life and until next time thank you so much for your time i honor it as always light and love see you soon